Gadsden is a community where creative things are happening. Our potential is even greater. Your monetary support is needed to make the new Center for Cultural Arts a reality. In the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains lies the community of Gadsden, Alabama, settled in 1820. In 1845, Captain Lafferty wheeled in the first river steamer, the Coosa. The city was established in 1846. In full force, industry arrived in Gadsden in 1860s, doctors and attorneys, to name a few who lent their pioneer spirit to bring Gadsden into the industrial age. Over the next century, mills, iron furnaces, electric lights, fire departments, and public education all came into being. The first public library in the state of Alabama was founded with the monetary support of the Nichols Gardner family of Massachusetts. They had come to Gadsden to build and operate the Alabama Power Company and Alagasco got their start in our growing community. In 1975, with the forming of the Gadsden Metropolitan Arts Council as a catalyst for a community awareness of the arts, a list of goals and objectives for the community startings started the implementation of these ideas monies were set aside for a cultural arts center. In the 11th Street School, a National Historic Landmark was chosen as the site. In 1986, a 2% sales tax was enacted by the citizens of Gadsden to fund a fine arts program in the Gadsden City Schools. 100 elementary and 3,500 middle and high school children are encouraged and exposed to art music, dance, and the theater under the supervision of 37 teachers. Long-range goals include the expansion of the existing program at the high school level. As a community, we are very proud of our active Chamber of Commerce and the Industrial Development Authority. Our IDA has in the past two years gained national recognition as an innovative and progressive board. Last year, it drew more new industries to our area than Birmingham and Mobile combined. Realizing by locating the Center for Cultural Arts in the downtown area, an impetus for revitalization would occur, an effort to secure a downtown location was undertaken. These thoughts were solidified when the Gadsden Board of Education stated it would use the 11th Street School as its headquarters. Long-range planning continues on the old Pittman Movie Theater, future home of the Theater of Gadsden. The Amphitheater, a 1935 W-No historic registry status. Our mayor, David Nolan, agreed to serve as chairman of the 130 Active Cultural Arts Center Advisory Board. This board is composed of a broad range of our citizens. They are lending their expertise to make our seven countywide cultural arts center the art beacon in Northeast Alabama. Mr. Preston Phillips, nationally acclaimed architect, protege of Paul Rudolph, was selected as the project architect Mr. Phillips is a native of Gadsden, Alabama, and now has his practice in New York. I think it's probably uh, important to realize that people driving by, as, as well as people walking by, need to appreciate the building. So the building has been designed on the outside as kind of a slip cover, so the outside is going to have uh, certain geometric shapes and some finishes that will excite the passerby, both on foot and in the car. And then on the interior, we're, we've uh, added some interesting features, like a two-story atrium over the famous uh, escalators inside uh, to bring light down into the building, as well as uh, a couple of uh, features, including a courtyard in the back off the Children's Museum to give them a place to go out and play outside. A lot of hands-on activities considered for the children. 
Uh, in addition to that, there's going to be lots of multi-purpose space on the first floor, uh, a, a restaurant for lunch as well as catered activities, and uh, the second floor will be devoted primarily to painting studios, permanent uh, collection for the city of Gadsden, and traveling exhibitions. We've come a long way. Our goal is in sight, but we need your help in reaching it.